The International School of Temple Arts is an organization that has a training called the Spiritual Sexual Shamanic Experience. I just completed this training. It's their level one training about a month ago in Costa Rica, and it was an incredibly profound journey for me. And I want to share my experience with you and a few things about ISTA that you might want to know if you're considering doing their level one program. The first thing that's important to know is that when you go to ISTA, you are not going to a workshop where you're going to learn a bunch of bullet pointed things about sexuality or spirituality or anything like that. You're stepping into an experience. You're stepping into a container that is created by the facilitation team that is designed to help you uh, be the best version of yourself, to help you dive into the depths of what it means to be a sexual being on this planet and to help you rise to, I know it sounds uh, cliche, but your fullest potential. Um, that's what they're doing there. So it's very experiential from the moment you get there till the moment you leave. The next thing that's really important to know if you're considering going to their level one training is that these trainings happen all over the world and they are taught by different teams of facilitators or they are facilitated by different teams of facilitators. And that means that no two trainings are going to be the same. So what I would recommend is that if you are thinking about doing the level one training that you look up videos and websites of the different facilitators that are going to be teaching the trainings you're interested in because they are going to have a major influence on your experience there. And I would recommend going with somebody who you resonate with, who you feel a kinship with, or who you want to learn from or be in the presence of. I got a lot out of this training. It helped me uncover um, some sexual shame from something that happened to me when I was five. I made a whole video about that. I'll link to it under this video, but it helped me uncover that, but not only uncover, it helped me integrate that into my body. It helped me accept this thing that happened to me and view it um, as an ally and not this, this shitty thing that I had to deal with, but as something that I can learn from. Something that actually adds to my life and adds to the value that I'm able to give to the world. Another thing that this training helped me with is discerning the difference between what my mind thinks it wants and what my body wants in terms of sexuality, but also in terms of life in general. The reality is like in certain sexual contexts, my mind, because of the programming it has received from society and from the media, it thinks it wants certain things and it thinks it's attracted to certain people. Um, but if I were to follow those threads, then my body might not actually line up with my mind and I might end up in an experience that doesn't ultimately feel good for me. So through ISTA, I learned to listen more, to tune in more to what my body actually wants, to what my heart wants and to what my cock wants and less uh, what my mind wants because they don't always align. Another thing that was awesome that I got to work on during ISTA was practicing asking for what it is that I really want even if it's edgy as fuck, um, because of the container, I was given the opportunity to practice pushing my edges in that regard, um, pushing my comfort level and asking for really absurd things. And I got no's and that was awesome. And I got some yeses and that was awesome too. But flexing that muscle, um, it's a really important muscle to flex and it's hard to do so in our normal everyday society because there aren't containers set up for that. So, you know, a lot of the concepts that that were shared with us weren't necessarily new for me, but like I said in the beginning of this video, it's not about intellectually understanding things, it's about going through experiences that will embed these teachings or this wisdom in your body to leave a lasting impact and lasting yeah lasting impact on your life and so there's a lot about personal sovereignty too i actually went into this ista program about a week after a substantial breakup and the the processes around grief and the processes around anger really helped me move a lot of energy and a lot of emotion and helped me move through this transition with, um, with more grace and more ease 
and with the necessary amount of grief and just like raging the fuck out because I had a <laughs> I had a lot of pent up um, anger actually about the way my relationship ended so ISTA helped me process that in a way that was really good. Two important things about the actual structure of the program that feel important to share and they're both around safety and boundaries. Um, so in terms of sexual safety, it says on the website that, um, that there are some processes that could involve group nudity, that could involve some form of sexual touch and I experienced those and they were really powerful for me and, and helpful and there were people there who chose not to take their clothes off and who chose not to be touched or touch other people and their boundaries were fully respected and celebrated and nobody was pressured to do things that they were not comfortable with and that, that felt really good to me. Another major piece that feels important to share is that ISTA is the first organization that I'm aware of, or at least that I have been a part of, that openly um, allows for sexual interaction between instructors and students. And uh, <laughs> that brings up a lot for a lot of people, and it brought up a lot for me when I learned about this um, a couple of years ago. But now, after experiencing being in that container, I get it, and I understand their intention. and. It actually felt safer to me to have them name this up front and to share their process around uh, what would happen if there was interest between an instructor and a student. It felt really nice to have that out in the open because I've been in workshop settings before where an instructor has had a sexual interaction with a student and it was the, it was like hushed, you know, it wasn't talked about, but you could feel it in the container and you could feel the impact that it had on the room. So in this scenario, it was all out in the open. And I actually didn't witness anything that took me out of my experience. Um, I felt the instructor's presence and care for the group at large the entire time. And I was super impressed by that. And that made it feel safe for me. It made it feel um, like a more powerful container that allowed me to have a deeper experience. And I'm really grateful for that. So all in all, I had a very, very positive experience at my first ISTA. I've actually applied to assist at one that's coming up next month in Georgia. I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm curious to know if you have any questions. Um, please leave a comment below if you do, or you can reach out to me on Instagram. I'll put a link to my account under this video in the description. And... <sighs> You know how to subscribe if you want to. There'll be more videos like this in the future. So I hope you have an awesome day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.